I mentioned I was going to share a book, my book with you through creative expression, but I also wanted to talk a little bit and share what I learned on my journey to grow in love. Um, I, you know, each day I would figure out what I'm going to speak about, what am I going to write about, what am I going to talk about, you know, and I would ask God to send me a message and then I would write. As I wrote through both of my books, I came up with five principles to help me to grow in love. And I'd like to share those with you. In your packages, in your bags, each of you should have one. You should receive one when you walk in. There's a piece of paper, and you have this red 365 love pen that is yours to keep and share with others. And so I'd like to share with you my key principles to love from a 365 love perspective. The first one is that love is contagious and brings about positive change. It's like planting a seed for something to grow. I don't care where you are or what you do, when you touch someone with love, you make a difference to them. They may not acknowledge it, but it has made a difference. Whether they accept it or take heed to it immediately or later, I can assure you that they have accepted it. When you walk in an elevator and say hello to someone, and someone says hello back, just asking someone how their day is. You never know what they're feeling inside. And just by exchanging a conversation with a perfect stranger, that in itself is love. And that has caused a positive change. The second is that the glass is always half full. It's never half empty. It's never half empty. It's about positive thinking. I am a living testimony that when you think positively about everything, then you will see a big difference in your life and love in itself. So what something bad happened to you today? What did you learn from it? It rained and I'm having my book signing event today. <laughs> we need that rain. I need more to do. But look at the blessing that has come upon me because all of you are here to share with me today. The glass is half full. There's nothing wrong with anything that's transpired. You know, being sick, anything that's happening in your life, take a look at something you have learned from it or something that someone else has learned from your experience. Everyone is on a personal journey to grow in love. My journey is different than yours. I wasn't raised in the church, but I have grown spiritually. God delivered me spiritually in a totally different way than he may have done for you and you and you. I cannot expect you to be me, and you cannot expect me to be you. However, where you are, I have to accept you where you are in your personal journey to grow in love. And then I can make a choice whether where you are is something that I accept in my life and pray for you to grow or that I need personal growth to move forward. The fifth one is to love always. How can you be good at anything if you don't practice? Isn't that right? Follow up in. <laughs> That's the fourth one. Thank you. I need my numbers up there. Okay, the fourth one is to love always. Okay? Um, practice makes perfect. If you want to be good at it, you have to put it into practice. Just saying it and speaking it has nothing to do with it. You have to act on it. And it is a process. The more you do it, the easier it becomes. I try my best. My children come to me and say something bad happened. I'm immediately going to tell them what good came out from. I'm not going to stay in a slump. I'm going to come up. But I was not always like that. It took time, and I had to practice it, loving all of them. The fifth one, which we're going to talk about a little bit more later, is to remember the five, the four love actions. That's all I'm going to share with that one at this time. Once again, thank you for coming to the 365 Love Our program is not over yet. I want you to make sure you get you some refreshment, sign in to win one of our door prizes, and the program continues.